it's your boy and I'm back once again and I got a treat for y'all today it's on and popping this was long awaited long coming but it's here it's time it's time to get it off it's my nigga AK this is, I, I don't even know how to introduce him like when I, when I when I introduce people I usually have this long stuff to say and be like oh this nigga is this or this person is this this person is this but when I speak on AK, I just been knowing him since he was a youngster, man. Like, I've been knowing him, and I watched him glow up. And it's crazy because it was a gap in there when I didn't see him for a long time. And then his video came across my phone. And niggas was like, bro, look at look. And I'm like, no, that's not him, bro. Let me see. And I rewound it, and I watched it, and I'm like, damn. And it got, like, all my little cousins in the video and everybody. So... I'm just like, I'm excited to even invite him on the platform and just give him the stage and just let, you know what I'm saying, my people who in my world know who he is. So, AK, welcome to Freeze TV, bro. What's poppin', bro? What's poppin'? Let me get some, bro. Like, yeah, much love, bro. Man, it's been waiting, man. It's a long time I'm coming, man. I've been trying to get on Freeze TV for a minute. Man, you here, man? For a minute. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. And, and before we even get into this interview and get deep into it, um... I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to bounce around. I'm not yeah. going to just keep no timeline. We not finna. Oh, I just want to talk with you. I want to enjoy you. I want to enjoy um, what you got going. I want I want to turn these people on to you and whatever. And that being said, I want to start at the beginning. Where are you from? Who are you? Like, what? who are you? I'm AK. Real name Aaron Kennedy. Everything. All things. The nickname is my initials. That's where I come from. I come from Southside Phoenix, the back streets, 21st Street and 7. If y'all ain't been there, you know, you know, what I'm, you know, background, you know, cutthroat. It's cutthroat where I'm from. Man. I grew up in the trenches. All my family stay in the hood. Damn it. My grandma, my auntie, pops, other auntie cousins, all right there. I come from that generation. Yeah. We ain't have something in the house. I, I come from that. Hey, go down the street. Go get this. Oh, we ain't got no toilet paper. What do you grandma house? Yeah. Oh, we need some ketchup. What do you ain't here? I come from that generation. Man, and your family I mean, is like real tight too, right there on the corner. You know, um, that's how I, that's, you know, that's one of the ways that I watched you as a youngster was, was, um, little Mac, me and my little cousins. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. that's my Amy house right, right there on that street. Yeah, so right like, the street. so it's like, I used to see you little niggas, little, um, not, 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 Dimp, Dimp is my nigga, but what's your other kinfolk name? Um, had the, had the Grand National, Jake. Jake yeah, is yeah. my nigga, bro. Shout yeah. out Jake, man. Jake, Jake is snake. my nigga, yeah, man. Yeah, Jake yeah. is my nigga. But keep going, though, man. Just, just, just yeah, man, bring them uh, into your world. Yeah, man, you know, that shit was family oriented. So when, when niggas got to say, oh, he from this hood, or he banging this, they looking at it as I'm banging a set or colors, but this my family. Yeah. So before you niggas get off on my family, we can ride, I was taught to ride, you know what I mean? So... That's just where all that shit started. But mm -hmm. you know, I started rapping young. With me, me and the homies, we was young. All the older homies weren't really fucking with us. We was young, so we had our own little shit. Just the young niggas, you know what I mean? We had a little tape recorder. We used to record that shit free stuff. Yeah. They gonna be to take us serious. Probably till uh, I got older. Did a freestyle on the block on 1800 over there on Sunday at my Aunt Sally house. Mm -hmm. In front of everybody. And since then, it was it was gonna go more. Yeah. It's like, yeah, little nigga push it. But you got a lot of you got a lot of material. Like you've seen a lot of shit. Not only have you experienced things of your own, you know what I'm saying, in your own journey, but you've seen a lot. Like speak on that. Like like what are some of the things that you've seen that kinda like influenced you in your life? You know? Man, just growing up actually in my hood, like a lot of people, you know, bang the hood or whatever, they come over there and visit. Or, you know, don't get it twisted. Like a lot of people really be from that section, but they pull up when the smoke is clear. I mm -hmm. really was there when the smoke was there, when the smoke was yeah. clear. And like, nigga, I live here. Nowhere. I can't you, go nowhere. Yeah. Like, nigga, this shit here when I no, walk like out my door. like you said on the one song. We, um, fuck, how that line go? You said something. This, that house, that, that house. Oh, yeah, my Look. grandma love that house. She own that house. You feel me? Like, nigga, like, yeah. right next door is my Amy house. I'm already know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got the whole block. And, and y'all one of the first families that lived on that block. Exactly. Right there on that whole intersection. That whole my, grandma, my grandma owned that house right next door. That was their mama house that my Amy living in. That was, that was my big mama house. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? My daddy grandma. So, just, I seen a lot of crazy shit. But, you know, I was taught to, you know what I'm saying, we don't say shit, but I seen a lot of crazy shit, so that, that made me start my own path off, I don't want to be like this nigga, 
oh, but don't compare me to this nigga either. Like, nigga, I always make that clear. I'm AK still to this day now. Niggas that say, oh, you rem- you could be the next Nipsey. Or, or, you remind me, no, I don't want to be the next Nipsey. I want to be the first AK. That's dope. You know what I mean? Like, That's it's dope. cool for y'all to give have y'all opinion, but don't categorize me. Right. You know what I mean? I, but I they speak- can't really put you in, the, in none of them categories because you really come from an authentic family. So, like, a lot of niggas out here is put on, so niggas bang certain hoods or they do whatever right. they do. But, like, when I, when, I, when I hear of things that you doing or you out there involved in or whatever, it's a little different because that's not really, like, your hood. That's really, like, your, like you said, your family. That's really, like, you don't, you don't exactly. know nothing else. Your dad not, and all your uncles and everybody, the like, boys. they don't. Exactly. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's a little different. So exactly. I look at it different. I don't even I don't even digest it. And that's why I said beforehand, like I don't. I'm not even trying to entertain none of the goofy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because to me, you 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 so much above that. You know what I'm saying? Not just with with what I know you're gonna bring if a nigga really want it, but just in what you can do with your music. You so talented. You blessed. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You got a good support system. You come from a good family. So it's like, like through all of the grinding and you know, like it, like, like, okay, I'm from Phoenix, you from Phoenix. It's only so many families in Phoenix that's reputable, stamped, okay. certified, okay. and you from one of them families. Yeah. So that being said, how have you used that as an advantage to kind of maneuver through the streets and through the music and through everything you've done? Well, with that, it's like a lot of the shit these niggas praising is like that's the shit I'm trying to get away from. So when they hear my music, they glorify that. But that just it just give me more ammunition. I'm just really speaking on what I've seen or what I've been through. So a lot of the shit that motherfuckers is it's hard for them. I got shit, man. Like I got so much shit stacked up because it come easy to me. This is real life. This is real. So I, I use all my struggles, whether it's from um bullshit with these bitches or it's real nigga shit or I'm losing niggas like. My free my nigga killer cam like my brothers that that I'll never see again. Like that's all that shit coming to my music. All that pain, everything you hear is real. Mm. I can't fake none of this shit. You know what I mean? So it's just I'm gonna keep pushing whether they like me or not. I'm gonna keep pushing. Yeah, it don't I've matter. I've been doing that. Yeah, it don't since matter. I was playing sports. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they, they been talking on my name. Oh, he ain't this. He ain't that. Or he is this. He too. It, like damn, I yeah. can't win for shit. So I just all that shit just be making me better. I always had to beat the odds. My whole life, I always had to push past what a nigga say. Mm-hmm. Or past what a bitch say. That's dope, man. Let me rest in peace, Pops. What he say? Let him hate. Yeah, let him hate. Let him hate. Give him something to talk about, son. You got to overcome. You know what I mean? You got to overcome, man. Like, um, okay, like, so, what, what, what schools did you go to? As far as, like, elementary? Like elementary, high school. Yeah. Like, where did you go to school at? Elementary, I went to T.G. Bar. You know, it's right there. Thunderbirds. Like Thunderbirds. Yeah. That's where I graduated from, but I went there, got kicked out. Pops like, you hard-headed, so he sent me to Nevi. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was popping, though. I fuck with the 40s, man. I went there off from, uh, I want to say third to fifth grade. I went to Nevi. Then I went to uh, Campbell. That didn't work. Fucking up. Went right back to TG Bar. Graduated from there. High school, I went to McClintock. Got kicked out of McClintock. Went to Tempe. Got kicked out of Tempe. Everybody from the back go to McClintock or Tempe. But you know, my uncle Pip though. You know, I know. That's, that's is that like, like zone for that area or something, or is it I just mean, was like an inside line? Cause all the Wheatons went to McClintock or something. All your family was going to. Yeah, Pip. it's like the way they separated me older. Me older now looking back, the way they separated. If you was really one of them ball players, but you was really already banging and throw it off, you know, you want to stay at South. And shit. I got kicked out of South in eighth grade when we went to the field trip, so I couldn't go back. <laughs> you feel me? Ain't solid them play. It's over. You feel me? I couldn't go back, but mainly if you want to play ball, if you really were trying to play ball, though, you went to McClintock Harkin Ten P as far as fam. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's just where the Gibsons went, the Wheatons, the Huckabees, the Kennedys. That's where everybody went. Either yeah. Tempe or McClintock. You know, I looked up to Pip. He was a charger, so I'm like, yeah. I'm at I'm at my friend's No, nah, you know, yo, Pip the man. Yeah, that, yeah. that was my guy. Yeah, that was my man. guy, man. Man, so then, like, how did you end it up? You know, like, like I'm saying, you was a super athlete. I'm watching you as a as a as a youngster play Pop Warner, do all the things you was doing. You was making some some noise. Then you just disappeared. What what what, what happened? You know, just streets. You know that that demon, I guess. I guess I let that shit over, overcome me, you know? Mm-hmm. Growing up in that shit, like, oh yeah, football cool, this shit cool, but it ain't making me no money. I ain't getting no money right now. 
like, oh, I, I gotta get the drip for the bitch. Like, just looking at the little picture instead of the bigger picture, you know what I'm saying? Instead of really listening to what my pops is saying, I'm, I'm in the streets. I'm living at grandma's house, so really saying, I'm not really hearing, you know, just that young, dumb nigga shit. Mm -hmm. You know, it kind of fucked up my football career. Man, I'm speak like, on it a little bit, because there's a lot of little youngsters who looking at you right now, and when they looking at you, they see, they see AK. And they, they never met, you know what I'm saying, all of the struggles that you went through to create who you are today. So sometimes people can kind of, it's kind of like the Wizard of Oz. As long as they were skipping down a yellow big road thinking that this Oz was something, yeah, yeah. it was something. But once they got the peek behind the curtain, they like, that's lame like, ass like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, 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 what, what's some advice or what are some of the things that you can say to kind of just kind of keep people... Everything Focus. ain't what it seems. Everything that glitter and gold. I chose the, you know what I'm saying, loyalty. You know what I'm saying, what, what niggas call it. That loyalty to the streets, to the game, whatever that got me fucked. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought I'm making the right choices, uh, trapping it out or going to, you know, I went to jail for armed robbery. You know, see, I did my time. Going to hit my lips, splitting it with the homies or doing what we was doing. You know what I'm saying? That young shit. I'm thinking that's the move. That's the cool shit. We young, 17, 18, we got pockets full of money with our cars and shit. The niggas on probation since 09. Niggas name fucked up. Niggas, niggas can't really do shit. That shit got me sent to prison. Right, and it seemed like right when everything was going good. The homie Quack just had uh start booking me shit at executive. This before it was V Live and all that shit. It was executives. Mm -hmm. Uh Charles and Jim was uh fucking with yeah. the shit. I went to doing all them contests, went to winning. My name went to buzzing. Went to prison. So all that stopped. Now it's like, oh, all that just like football, all that little buzz, now you did. I'm in prison now. Now it's real. All the homies you riding for, all them bitches you looking good for disappeared. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? Now that I'm out, I'm more focused on real shit, man. I got my kids, man, so I'm, I'm focused on that and my music. But I'm still gonna talk my shit. So my advice is, just if this what niggas gonna do, just be ready for them consequences. Mm -hmm. Just be ready for that. If you gonna make that bid, make sure you ready to lay in there. Cause I had no choice. Once them gates close, you have no choice. You gotta lay in that shit. What was that like, just going through that transition? <sighs> all that shit you doing on the streets, yeah. Yeah, that shit, is, it's in there. So all that shit you screaming, all that shit I was doing, all that, it, it's really it's really in there. Yeah. That's why in my music, I come out and I can say that. Cause you know, we all know this, I can cut off like a motherfucker. All the people we know, OG niggas, top, top niggas, they, you can ask them about me. The same nigga you see now, the same nigga they hear on them tracks, that's the same nigga I was in there when it was nothing. I'm talking about from the pavement, all I got is these knuckles in my mouth and I spit on everything. Yeah. It can't man nigga say I didn't. I caught all my face, I pushed on what was right and what was wrong, we didn't fuck with it, and I, I stayed solid. I ain't check in, ain't roll up, wasn't on no gay shit, no nothing. Yeah. A real nigga. So you that's why that. I hate that people look at me this way like I'm some hard nigga to work with or I'm I'm some problem child or I'm some no nah, nigga get to know a nigga. I'm just gonna stand on it. I'm from Southern, that's what it is. I don't care where nigga I know where you from, I know where the next nigga from. I don't yeah. got nothing to do with me. As long as we all respect and we're each nigga section, it's all love. I like being around real niggas. I can't understand why niggas, oh hey, okay, from this or he a crib or he what that gotta do if you a real nigga, so what? I'm a real solid nigga. Yeah. You feel me? That's crazy because it seems like you, um, D2K, um, um, D2K too, um, Shout out D2K too, Bird Gator though, man. Hey, yeah. I see you, my nigga. Shout that out. Um, motherfucking Desert Baby. Um, and it's a couple other people I can name who have been to prison. And y'all come home and y'all stand on a different kind of politics. That's based on respect. That's based on being a man and being being a man of your word, standing on what you own. And um, do you think that that there's some kind of disconnect with these young brothers? Because there's a lot of people out here in these streets who free, who just doing whatever. But in just my own personal opinion, the youngsters like yourself and D2K and, and Desert Baby. Y'all can all have y'all disagreements and y'all can say fuck each other, but all y'all niggas stand on principles. Like, do you think that it was prison that did that? Or do you think it was just like, like just finally being in a place where you was just by yourself? I think prison 
definitely, if not helped it, it definitely elevated for sure, for sure. It has to elevate that respect because you are, you that number. That's all you are in there. You know what I'm saying? So you, it's a lot of people in there portraying stuff to there, but your, your car, your car is gonna get pulled. Mm -hmm. So that that respect, it helping there a lot. But I think it's just it's it's who you are already. That same person you you, you are on the streets, that's what you gonna have to be in there. You can't fake it in there. You cannot fake that shit in there. So it make you if you have to stand on shit. You have to. Like you can't tell. Like I can't tell you something, and then something pop up on the yard or whatever. I can't say oh I didn't say that. We gonna have to fade or something like. There's no talking out of like nah. It's only a couple ways you can deal with shit in there. So it make you move different. It make you stick that chest up and man up. Mean what you say. Say what you mean at all times. I can't get too comfortable with that nigga. I got, I got all these races in here, so it just it. You more alert. So now getting out, I move more in respect now. I feel like before I pull this gun out and really get there. Nigga, I was just locked up with your big homies or your brother or your cousin. I was just like, nigga, I'm out there pushing the line with niggas you love. So before I really get get it like that, I, I got a level of respect now where we can we can talk it out. I might not be able to talk to you. I mean, it's your big bro because it's petty to me. Unless it's really up there, then it's like fuck everything involved. But that's that's what I like about the only thing I like about the prison. That's what I be telling my little niggas. They got beef out here with the other hood, and it's getting my name involved, and they saying fuck a lot of people that. You know what I'm saying? I have respect for it. And I, I'm riding for it. Like, how, how can I be cool with my little homies dissing certain people that I used to ride with? It's, mm -hmm. it's just crazy how the generation changed. The niggas that the little niggas funking with, them the niggas I fucked with. The niggas that they don't, you know what I'm saying? The niggas they don't fuck with. Like, it, it's, it's all backwards now. It's crazy. The niggas we funk with, they cool with. It's, it's just different. Times just change, and that shit is crazy. So but now you a leader, so it's kind of like now you one of the leaders. Man. So a lot of whatever is, is going to be kind of like, and I'm not even looking at it from a street perspective. I'm just looking at it from a man perspective. Because, like I said, um, you brothers is coming home standing on principles that some of these dudes ain't learning at home. They don't have an uncle, a daddy, a brother. Like, you got a house full of men at your house. Like, you grew up around a whole bunch of men. You know, from your grandpa all the way down. Like, top of the line. Like, well-respected men. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, it's kind of like, like a lot of these youngsters, they need you right now. Just on some manhood, just on some how to conduct yourself, how to, how to shit, like damn near, like how to, how to, how to look a man in his eyes and shake yeah, his hand. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Just the, the, the simple things that these brothers ain't learning. Because I, I think that that's why people think you might be hard to work with. Cause they say the same shit about Dutta. You know that's what I'm saying? Yeah, he just, he stand on principles and he going through it with personal people in his life. And he pulling up on me like, big bro, man, I, man, these motherfuckers, they don't get it. And I'm like, no, bruh, you just came from a place where your, your yes has gotta mean yes, your no's gotta mean no's. And now you in a place where people say yeah in your face, but really in the back of their mind means something totally different. Not just because shit ain't really been snatched from them. A lot of people can't understand what me and Dada understand because we ain't never been in that situation where everything happened, took from us. We had to really get it from nothing. Niggas out here free say they get it from nothing. No, you don't really know what nothing is. You know what I mean? So we see a bigger picture. Like, it ain't no real beef. Like, motherfuckers are called beef out here just because a person don't like a person. That's not a real beef, man. You just have a disagreement with that man. And people fail to realize that now, 2021. Just because one person don't like one person don't turn into a section on section thing. That's where niggas go wrong. It's too much money out here. It's too much opportunity out here. And that's what me and Dutt on. And certain other niggas, that's what we on. Nigga, we come from the side. You feel me? Right. Like, nigga, what? It, it, it's no, nigga, we've been at every generation I've been through that route. That hate, that grief, that jealousy. Get niggas knocked off or locked up. Nigga, we, it's gonna start somewhere. It gotta start somewhere. I don't give a fuck. That's why niggas don't like me. I'm AK first. Before Southern, before Crip, I'm AK first. Nigga, if it makes sense, I'm pushing with it. My real niggas gonna push with it. The fake niggas, fuck them. You niggas wasn't there anyway. That's what niggas is scared to do. They scared to weave out them fake niggas and them real homies. I'm not. I'm gonna expose who real and who gonna fake. Niggas, but I done been through shit, bro. You done heard my name through a lot of shit. And the ones you still see, them my niggas. The ones you don't see, you know what time it is. Cordial, yeah. fake ass handshakes and shit. Cordial shit. 
I, I bypass that. Nigga, I see a bigger picture. No, but that's that's what they need. That's what we all need. Just that 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 raw honesty. And like I said, that comes from a place that a lot of people don't get to go to. Just in a real life, like. I think I was watching BMF the other day or something, and the whole episode was about the lies we tell. And the whole episode was about, like, the mama telling the son, like, don't tell him that, you know. He's like, well, I can't tell him the lights was off. Like, don't tell him that. Tell him you couldn't go to school. And, like, the whole episode was about that. And I think so many people live their life like that, that when they encounter people who just standing on their truth, it just kind of fucks them up. And it, it can come across as being arrogant or come across as being strong or tough but not nah, just being real up here but people don't really want the real you know what i'm saying they want they want situational you know what i'm saying but anyway let's get into some some what you got coming now though because nah, i don't want to know about your new music i want to know about this damn video bro what made you do that video which one the one I just was asking you about, um, the one last time that I checked. <laughs> like, what made you take that song, that Nipsey song, that beat? That? It was a response. Oh, it was a response. So before, before I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. Before it was even on the last time I checked beat, I had a regular beat, like an original beat. Mm -hmm. But you know, motherfuckers messy in Phoenix. I'm hearing what this. I'm hearing this nigga this. You know what I'm saying? Well, I already heard snippets, but I paid attention to the beat, and it was the Drake back to back. I'm like, oh, this nigga think he's gonna back to back me. You wanna get on some industry shit, all right, I'ma go hop on the lug shit. Like, that's how I was looking at it. I wasn't on some, oh, Nipsey, well, nigga, it was just a beat hard. Mm -hmm. It's the industry shit, last time that I checked. And the, the, the hook that I had for it, it just, it went. Nigga, last time that I checked, nigga, it just went. So I wasn't thinking how everybody else made it think. I was just thinking, get at this, nigga. Yeah. Industry beat for industry beat. Nigga, you dissing me, I'm finna respond. You dropped your video that morning, I dropped my video that night. So he dissed you on the song? Yeah, because I, 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 I sent a little shot. Like, it was some shade, some bullshit behind the scenes shit that niggas don't really know. I, I'm seeing this nigga. It's really no smoke. So I sent my shot. When I sent my shot, he responded. It was either nigga, you was gonna be like, nigga, you right? Because what I'm speaking is facts. Or you was gonna do what you was gonna do. Nigga, he did what he did. He did me. I responded. So how am I the bad guy? Everybody make it seem like AK Mr. Dismay. Mr. Dismay. Nigga, I responded. Same thing with Desert Baby. Niggas wanna seem like I'm just tripping on I'm out here cloud chasing. I don't know who the fuck this nigga was. He dropped some shit, don't stop six. Niggas is screenshotting and sending it to me. He mentioned in the back street. Mind you, I'm the only rapper from the back street. Mind you, I'm pushing for the back street. Everybody know this. Nigga, who? Why the fuck wouldn't I? Like, you feel me? Right, you you right. speaking on my hood. So I dropped my shit, but mind you, I still don't really know this nigga. I'm all on live with this shit. I never put this shit on YouTube. This nigga disses me again. You can find three disses on me. By this nigga on YouTube, you can't find one for me to this nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Why? So he just dissed you, just dissing the back streets. Nah, no, he, he made it, he was dissing everybody. Yeah, yeah like, so he just, it was just like he, he just me. aired out. He aired the shit out. My, when I'm listening to it, I'm laughing because he ain't said my hood jazz. So I'm just laughing like, oh, whoever this nigga is, crazy. Then I hear my shit like, what the fuck? Boy, like nigga, now, <laughs> like yeah. you feel me? Like, any real nigga, boy, yeah. now you speaking on the hood. Yeah. I move off real shit. I didn't just come out the wood. The, 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 the blue, like, oh, fuck that shit, baby. It's this. Nigga, you spoke on my hood. I dissed you back. He should have expected that thing. I haven't even heard. I did a whole interview with him, and he didn't even. Like, I'm going to have to bring this nigga back in to ask this nigga. But, bro, why but niggas you? do interviews, though. And I, I'm speaking on that on your interview now, because I know yeah. niggas going to see this. Bro, he just did an interview, and he's speaking like. He don't know. I ain't gonna speak on the other nigga he spoke on. Speak on just me speaking like he, like I'm, like I'm not who I am. Like trying to take my credibility. Like I came out of the blue dissing him. Like I'm just, just at him for no reason. Nigga, you spoke on my hood first. I didn't know who the fuck you was. Your peoples fuck with my peoples. They been trying to link with the songs and shit. I'm busy on some other shit fresh out. Nigga, you mentioned my hood. I'm already, I already done got that J hood. I'm already in that mode, nigga. You mentioned my hood. I get at you. I'm like, I'm not gonna drop that shit. I don't know that nigga like that. I let it go up and do what it do. Now I'm really on some street shit, nigga. You don't got political ties like Jay Hood. Your family ain't got family like how me and this nigga like, nigga. Yo, nigga, my daddy don't know you, so he can't stop this. That's where I'm at with it. So nigga, fuck this diss and shit. So that's when I went live all through the nigga, whatever, whatever. I still like whatever. Nigga diss me again. I say some shit on the internet. He dissed me again. Now it's like, nigga, you asking for it. 
Nigga, I, you can't type, you can type in Trap Money AK anywhere. Spotify, YouTube, anywhere. You're never gonna see a, a, a DBK this, a Desert Baby this. That's all just some Phoenix me on live fucking around. This nigga's really dissing me. But then acting like he don't know who the fuck I am. And that shit irks me, my nigga. Yeah, that's kinda like, I don't know, I kinda, I got, I damn near got questions for the, I damn near wanna FaceTime a nigga now. Like, nigga, what's wrong with you, bro? You, cause, See, some people use these platforms to sway the narrative. You know what I'm saying? And we not doing none of that over here. Like, bro, this, that's, that's not what this is about. I'm we not just trying to rap beat, bro. I'm not yeah. that. I'm not Mr. Let's Go This for This, bro. Like, I, I get irritated. I'm, bro, I, I tell you, know, I ain't gonna say too much on camera. Like, nigga, we not finna do that. Mm -hmm. Bro, don't, don't get that J-Hood. Don't get that shit twisted. But That's that diss track, like, and I'm not even, and, and I don't want Jay Hood to take this as though I'm kind of like hating on him or nothing, but it's like one of the dopest diss tracks I've never heard, bro. Like, from local, from here, from the turf. Even that, fuck it. Like, it goes up there. It, I, I guess it's because you got Nipsey beat, so I'm familiar with the beat, and it's dope. But the way you flip it is just like, damn, it's up there. Like, it's, it's up there. Like, it's... It's up there, like it's it's one of them ones that when I'm feeling some shit, I could put it in, I could just you know bump it and just be like, damn, like, and I can go there because because I know the people, you know what I'm saying. So it's it, it means a little something different to me. Like it's it's a dope. Well, watch this though, it's crazy how all this shit flipped it and made it bigger than what it was. But when Jay Hood this Mac Pool and this Thug, fucking home, see Thug never knew that he was man, all that. Nigga, we laughing at that shit. We fucking with hood. Niggas ain't get on that with you then. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Niggas been, niggas been rocking with you niggas. I heard most of the shit. Niggas been, so I don't understand how me speaking my facts. I didn't say fuck everybody. Boy, this was between me and you. If you listen to that whole diss song, that's between me and that man. So I don't understand why everybody else is making it bigger than what it is. Nigga, me and Jay Hood could have made some hard shit. No, the song was dope, bro. bro did you I think that's what it is. The song is just dope, bro. If the song wasn't as good as it is, then people wouldn't, it wouldn't be, like, the song is just dope, bro. It's a good record. It's a really, really, really good song. Like, in five years, people gonna be playing that song. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of performing. Like, you can't. You gonna perform that from now on. You sound like, ah. Uh. Like, <laughs> for real, every time, like, you, and it's fucked up. It's kind of like Drake's song, that, what's that, back to back? Yeah. Like, he dissed Meek so cold on that song that it's just, you gotta hear it in the club. You gotta, you, you just gonna hear it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and it's just, it's records like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really did that. Like, I, 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 and going to get JD Films to shoot the video, that was big. That was like a, um, that was like a one up. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know who shot. That nigga was a shark. Any of his videos or whatever. I'm gonna play with him. But you, yeah, no, Jay Hood got bars, bro. See, look, I look. This one nigga's federal. Jay Hood ain't nothing to play like, with. Even, even though everything been said, bro, I'm a real nigga, bro. I low key wish we could have dropped a song or two before that shit happened. Because if you listen to the song that we started funking over, I'm so hard, is it too late for y'all to do something? Me, with me, ain't nobody. I ain't finna get into too much politics, but ain't nobody got nothing in my back, no battery, no nothing. Can't nobody tell AK how to move or who to do the song with. Nigga, I own this label. Mm -hmm. This Trap Money shit you see on our shirt, I own this shit. I ain't the youngest in my shit, but niggas see my vision, you either gonna follow it or you not. Mm -hmm. So if Jay Hood could bypass the niggas in his ear, nigga, bro, I'm telling you. Niggas ain't sent no shots this way. Niggas ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just other people behind the scenes that it's making it hard, bro. I I'm telling you now, bro. J Hood didn't want to go that far. Yeah. But it's like, nigga, we men. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying, bro? Cause I, bro, called me right after the shit. Let's keep it in the booth, bro. It's no real beef. That it My views going crazy. Your views going crazy. If we gonna air out the truth, yeah. You was going crazy. I'm looking at his other videos. I'm like, damn, yeah. Bro ain't never been past 10k like this. Like, whoa. Nigga, shit going up. I'm looking at my shit like, damn, 25,000. Damn. This shit like 35,000, man. It's just organic. Like, no. No, no all yeah. off the streets. You know what I'm saying? So, me, I'm not tripping, bro. I'm on that. It's 
Don't have prison shit. If it's smoke, it's smoke. If it's not, it's not. If it's not smoke, I'm not gonna act like it is. Mm-hmm. If it's war, you can't tell me it's no rules. You can't be mad at nothing. And I made that clear from the trip. So I mean. Bro, this Phoenix, bro. We could be, we could really be on, my nigga. We got enough talent out here. Between hoods, it's, it's enough talent out here. We, we, don't, we don't need a famous nigga out here. We don't need to do a show with a big name out here to sell shit. Yeah. No, we should be able to do it together. But niggas is letting that, that pride. Bro, I'm cool, bro. I, I started off as a soldier first. That's what niggas want to preach this shit on their songs, bro. I really lived that life for. I had to level up, bro. I really, I didn't just start out no fucking bomb for this head nigga in truck, nigga. What? I earned my fucking name. I really earned my shit. Mm-hmm. That's why niggas like they projects out and I don't. I'm cool with it. If a nigga's feeling this, this nigga more, that's cool. But I guarantee you they gonna hear me. Niggas is scared to, to fuck with a nigga or follow a nigga or, or, or hop on a nigga wave. Not even dick ride, no homo, but hop on a nigga wave. If I'm opening my arms like, like nigga, nigga you're hard. On the wave, like, like you hard. Yeah. I got this or I got these people looking at me, woo woo. Come fuck with me and vice versa. But niggas won't do that. Niggas won't do that and I do that. Mm-hmm. Hip hop festival. I brought double and face out. Just for a performance. Had it crazy. But I'm opening, I'm opening shit. I'm, I'm gonna interview face next you week. Feel like, face dope. I'm um, trying to, I'm trying to nigga do that. Niggas is looking at me like I'm trying to fuck the fiend up. I'm trying to but bring it not, together, but I'm gonna stand on shit. Yeah, it's not that. I think it's just going back to you stand on your principles. You know what I mean? And I, I I think that's honorable. You know what I mean? Like I I, I respect it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember talking to you on FaceTime, um, like right after you dropped that video. And um, I don't know, I don't know what you was doing, but we was on FaceTime. It was early in the morning. It was like me, you, and Thug. We was on the phone on oh, FaceTime. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, man, this shit is crazy because I was watching it bubble. And I was like, I wonder what's going to come out of this. You know what I'm saying? And what do you do? Do you think that it's been positive for your for your movement, or do you think it's been kind of like both? Both. Can you like? It, it's been positive in a way of like, oh, he got bars. Niggas a a good rapper. It's been positive as niggas hear me that I really don't play in the booth. But then it's negative is now they looking at me as, oh, he don't like bloods or or he's this or oh he's just he's only fucking with no like it put me in the categories like it kind of like made it seem like i don't fuck with nobody else mm-hmm. my niggas but i mean everybody like that in a, in a sort in a sense of a way but if you ain't ever did it to us and if you a real nigga like i check backgrounds so if you if you a nigga like me or if you cutting that or if you portraying that and we ain't seen no flaw yet i'm gonna fuck with you mm-hmm. and niggas not like that out here though they won't fuck with a nigga just because of who he is or what you're on this like nigga, that'll, what the fuck they gotta do with you? He's a real nigga. You done did some shit. If you really done shot some pistols, niggas don't like you. Yeah. If you done really rob niggas, niggas don't like. Like. Damn, man. You feel what I'm saying? Like no, that I'm shit is you. crazy, bro. I'm with you. Me huh? telling you this, like, and I wasn't even gonna say this, like, I- I'm such a real nigga, bro. One of my niggas that's here, bro, with the whole desert baby shit. I wasn't even gonna speak on it. Before this shit was where it's at now, nigga was on tracks and shit. You can look up on YouTube, calling out faves and shit, all online, calling out my fave, bro. My big bro that's here, fuck with his big bro. Bro, he lined that up. Bro didn't want to catch no fade or nothing. That's what I'm saying. Though. Stop doing this. All that fake ass image shit, stop doing that shit. I'm not, I don't want to play those games. I'm not that type of rapper. I'm not that, bro, I'm authentic nigga. I don't want to play them games with you. Nigga, if you, I'm a real nigga, I'm a stand on shit. We can behind the scenes shit where nobody got to know. And that's what we was on. But this ain't got to embarrass you. But before you mention my, bro, I'm really like that. So that's why I, I, I don't like that shit, bro. That's why I distance myself from certain niggas, but I am open to work with a lot of niggas. But people gotta, people gotta fuck with me. People gotta listen. Like that, that's all it is. If you listen to my music, whoever my ops is or whoever I'm dissing, that's that one crowd. Don't don't make yourself an op if we ain't got no beef. You know what I'm saying? If your shit hard, fuck with a nigga. Like that's that's all it is. That's what that's what this music is supposed to be about. You feel me? I reached out to niggas when I'm doing songs and features. I was reaching out to niggas, except Judge. Judge hopped on my first shit on his own. I didn't even know that was happening. That shit hard, too. You feel me? I'm like, that's love. Did JD do that video, too? JD, nah, uh, 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 he did that video. Judge did that shit. Judge did? Yeah. He had, he had his camera and everything, but he had his, like, his people and shit, like, his little camera yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Shot that shit right in front of the house. Got the block that's soda. dope. That's dope. How many, so how many videos you got out now? Uh, I think on YouTube, probably, like, five. But I got a lot of videos that I ain't dropped yet. 
I don't know. Honestly, we're bullshitting. Bullshitting, honestly. I mean, a couple things happened behind the scenes on a couple of videos, so I couldn't drop it. Mm -hmm. But for the other ones, just been bullshitting. So you just been killing the shows and in the booth? Like, I, every I time I turn up. around, I see a goddamn flyer or something or somebody, like... I'm trying. I'm trying to work. What was it like doing that, um... That verses with what's the guy name? Deontay. Dante. Deontay. Deontay. Yeah, Deontay. Yeah. yeah Deontay. Deontay. He got energy. That nigga was skipping and sliding and he that was going crazy. Like he, he got a lot of energy. I like his energy. That nigga's hard. Yeah, I like his energy. Flat out. But uh, that verses. Speaking on that, nobody wanted to do a verses with me. Like niggas acting like they scared. To, I ain't even gonna say scared. Niggas acting like it's a problem just to be in the same room with me. Like, bro, this supposed to be some put the city on friendly competition. I don't give a fuck who win or who lose. I got, I feel like I got ten bangers. Who the fuck in the city feel like they got ten bangers? Who want to go ten for ten? That's just what I was on. If yeah. you're not like, you know, what I'm niggas was on. Oh, oh. Bro, Yante, shout out, shout out, Yante. Bro, that nigga. When I hit that nigga, like, what's up? Everybody want to do verses? You hard. I was just calling regular niggas. I'm calling niggas who hard. You know, I like competition. I grew up playing sports. Yante answered that phone and he pulled up. And then we did the little interview shit. We did the verses. It was dope. Bro. We had a gang of motherfuckers in there. All the tickets we had sold out. I watched that, I think, on the Certified Savage show. Or like, I watched it. I watched it. What up, Clean so Dub? Clean so Dub in the building, fresh so off the bird. Yeah, that's my man, Clean yeah, yeah. Dub. He fresh off the bird. <laughs> yeah, just touched in. Yeah, yeah. Man, we, we sitting here with, with um AK, man. This is... um. Like, like, damn, they're like my cousin, man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Shit. Like, real family. Like, real, real. Like, our families are so intertwined. It's crazy. But um, sure. we having a dope interview, man. We've been tapping in on a lot of stuff. And, like, now it's time to get on the music. And I don't even want to talk about the music. I don't even want. I'm trying. Damn, I need to go take some more notes. I need to, like. Because I'm like, you dope. You, 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 you threw me off with that whole Desert Baby playing the I Don't Know You game. Because that's like, you know. That shit is goofy. It's goofy. But when I look back at my interviews, I was goofy for not even just exposing it then. Because it's a few interviews where I'm like, oh, fuck the nigga or whatever. But I never really got into why. I'm just, oh, fuck the nigga. So they just think I'm really on some, just mentioning him on some 50 cent shit, just this and whoever's supposed to be hot. No, nigga. You know what the fuck you did. I, nigga, I don't gotta, I feel like I don't have to, I shouldn't have to say this. If you's a real nigga, bro, speak on it. Bro, you mentioned me and I, I, I said some shit back. Speak on that. If that's what you are, if that's what you portray yourself to be, if you really want smoke, stand on that shit, nigga. I respect you more. But don't act like you don't know why and you don't know who I am and all of this shit. That's what make me look at you like I want to slap you when I see you. That's what we do to niggas like that. But I don't want to fight you. I'm going to slap the shit out of you now. That's where I'm getting with it. But don't play with me like that. And you supposed to be 30, nigga. I'm 28. Don't play with me like that. I ain't no little boy, nigga. I pay my own bills. That's so that's where I'm at with it, nigga. Yeah. Stop playing out here. We're not playing. You claiming the east or Tucson, wherever you from, nigga. I'm from the side. I can't tell you how these other niggas wiggle. But this S wiggle different, my nigga. And it's slippery and it's slimy around this motherfucker. Stop playing with us. Like flat out. And so that's like what you projecting through your through this music you working on now. It's just like don't play with us. Like Pretty where much. are you coming? What's your like so if, if I'm if I'm buying your C D right now, if I'm downloading your C D, what should I is, like what what type of energy should I expect? Oh, you should expect everything. Anything that's hot, any type of wave, I'm gonna hop on it eventually and kill it. Whether it's a young boy wave, uh, uh, the coochie man wave, I'm still just gonna be authentic AK though. But I, I'm, I'm gonna kill any wave that's out here and I'm gonna talk my shit because I'm gonna back it up. So anytime you hear AK, you know he, when you hear that AK, that's my, you know I'm finna talk shit. Yeah. Whether it's to these hoes or to these niggas or about my money, I'm finna talk shit. No matter what. Yeah, I like I like to hear you talk shit, though. That shit Even when me, I slow it down, I talk shit. Yeah, that shit, shit gas me up. I be like, this little nigga be tired. I just like to see my little niggas, like, grow into who they are and be proud of who they are. You know what I'm saying? I think that's just so dope to me. Like, there's so many people who want to be one way, but they can't be that way. Or there's so many people who want to act like this, but they scared to act like this. Or they want to, like, you just, like undeniably you like even when you and and i don't want to say this and sound fucked up but it's just like how niggas be running around this way but a nigga got this two three girls but he really gay you know what i'm saying or a nigga acting this way on or whatever like be who you are man be who undeniably you exactly and that's what i get from you like not from since a kid but that's how your family is though you know what i'm saying yo 
your, your grandpa is one of the dopest men ever to come through Arizona. Your dad, rest in peace, is one of the dopest niggas ever to come through here. Like, I'm talking about real certified stamp. You know what I'm saying? Um, JK, your uncle JK is the first nigga I ever saw sitting on, on, on Dayton. You know what I'm saying? This nigga hit the corner in the Thunderbird on Dayton and then came back with that motherfucker on a tow truck smashed in. <laughs> and that motherfucker, yeah. for real, that's a true story. And that motherfucker set up in a... In the driveway for a long time, smashed in on them days. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Fry should be the. But I still used to tell everybody that's the freshest car that I ever seen. Still today, he's one of the freshest niggas I ever known. Like, he's one of the people who I got my swag from. You know what I'm saying? Watching JK is a lot of. You know, like, I got a lot of my swag from him. You know what I'm saying? Like, straight up. And that's why a lot of niggas I say, real niggas do fuck with me. Prime example, like my first video. I got one clip, and it's a small clip where I'm in that Stingray, that Chevy Stingray. And I really didn't even like that clip too much for simple fact of I don't like flexing with other niggas' shit. That's why my music, I feel like it's different. Because I, I talk about my shit or, you know what I'm saying? If I say something, I'm going to say it's the homies. Like, I ain't finna portray that. You know, like, any of my videos, it's all authentic. Besides that one little scene, like, even when I'm in the rape with Mo, shout out my nigga Mo too. I'm in the passenger seat, they're like, oh, spin the block it. Nah, what I'm going to spin the block in this nigga shit for? When the cameras go off, I'm not going to pull up in the bitch in it. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's why niggas like fuck with me. Like, nah, nigga, I don't want nothing from you. If you fuck with me, fuck with me. Don't fuck with me because you fuck with my mans. Nah, nigga. That's how you met me, but fuck with AK. Mm -hmm. And I make that clear. Like, I don't, nigga, I'm me. My videos is me. I don't, nigga, I don't flex with other niggas shit. I don't want to do that. You niggas pull up and y'all shit. Yeah, it's a party. Let's turn up. But I'm going to be AK. I want to stand on me. I I'm going to speak on niggas me. Any, on any type of, any feature, anything, bro, I'm going to be AK. That's all I know how to be. When I talk my shit, be ready for it. Like, talk your shit. What, whatever side of the flag you on, bro, just talk your shit. It's all love. But if you think I'm going to be censored or if I know I'm going around this group of niggas, I'm not going to be a different nigga. No, or I'm going to be, be AK. Yeah. And I, I think that intimidate a lot of niggas because they expect me to be like, oh, well. Like, no, nigga. You getting AK. You ask for AK. This is who you getting. Well, my nigga Drake say you asked to see the boss, so they sent me, dog. Yeah. <laughs> like, you feel me? Like, like nigga, don't be shook when I get here, my nigga. I like that. Like, you feel me? What I the like fuck? That. Don't nobody how, run me. How does that How does that translate into your show performance? Like, when you're doing these live shows and you... How does that... Like, like how, do you, how does that feel when you up there on stage and you get to finally be AK and you busting your music and it you feel good and it's and never, no performance have, has ever felt the same I don't know I know you don't perform mm -hmm. you know what I mean like it's always different it's, it's never rehearsed we can rehearse our songs or listen to it a million times while we smoking getting the words right but when we touch that stage and we looking at people and we see cameras bro just bring something different out you don't know if I'm finna dance if I'm finna talk shit you don't know if I'm solo dolo or if I got 40 motherfuckers with me cause I don't know until we get there, and I love that. I love that about me. I'm not some nigga that I don't need this. I don't need to perform like this every time. Bro, just give me that mic. Make sure my my set and everything right. Everything clear. We good. Yeah. But regardless, I'm gonna give you a show. Which one of your shows stick out the most to you in your mind that you've done so far? If you wanna be honest, bro, my very very first show ever. Like, Where was you when at? I got, out of, I got out of prison. I was Where? with Draws and Willie T. At the lounge. Shout out Draws. Yeah, and shout out the big homie Draws. Yeah, man. Hey, niggas, man. Yeah, we was at the lounge on, uh, I want to say Hardy and Broadway. Mm -hmm. No stage, no nothing. It's a little bar, a little hole in the wall. I'm fresh out. I just want to get my voice heard. I'm on a song with the big homie Draws. I get the mic. It's my turn. Willie T doing the hood. Y'all, I'm just on a song with him. Willie T doing the hood. But there's so many people around. A bunch of real niggas. But I went gashing. To my nigga double popped out of nowhere. This nigga got his arm around me all on camera. Yeah. I'm going crazy. Everybody going crazy. Everybody cameras on me. That feeling right there, I still ain't felt that yet. I done performed some big stages. But that one, it was just so cutthroat. It was so real, so grimy. I'm fresh out talking my shit. Give a fuck who in the building. Mm -hmm. And niggas loving it. That's a real feeling. I'm not scared of nothing that was gonna happen. We ain't got no guns in here. I came with my niggas. I got y'all niggas. Y'all say y'all with it, we with it. Let's drink. Let's that party. was your that was your moment. That was that was that. That was that that like you know, see like I, I move a lot on energy and I deal a lot. I do a lot of meditating, praying, just whatever, just, just smoking. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I spend a lot of time by myself. And sometimes we go through moments that give us a, a, a snapshot or give us like a, a sneak peek of what's to come. You know what I'm saying? And 
I think at that moment, that was like God showing you, like, this is where it can go. Because like you said, you was fresh home, you was, now you AK. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And now it's only so much more that you can do and so much further that you can take it. You did. Like, what's available online right now for people to listen to? Uh, I got two mixtapes out. Phoenix President, Talk Your Shit mixtape. Both of them is out. Apple Music, Spotify, TikTok. I mean, everything. Facebook, Instagram. Just type in my name. Mm -hmm. I'm a pop-up. Who you fuck with on production? A lot of main. You got some main in there? Some main ingredients? When I, uh, when I first came home, that shit I did with uh, Draws, then was main, man. Me and main been playing phone tag and shit, man. But I fuck with main. Shout out to main, man. Shout out to the beast. That nigga's hard. But mainly, I've been fucking with Deucey. I can't even lie. That's shout another out thing, Deucey. too. Deucey shout out to Deucey, bro. Like, bro. Straight Raw, man. I, I, yeah. I get on his website, man. Straight Raw. And StraightRawBeast.com. I get on his website. I just hear shit. I call him. Hey, bro, take it off the line. I'm finna come get that. <laughs> Yeah. All right, bro, say less. Like that. That's my nigga. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Deucey. Deucey last Mark. minute, last minute, everything. I'm talking about it. Be late night. I'm just, oh, I got to get this off my chest. Hey, Deucey. And I fuck with Deucey for the simple fact of he said something no other producers have said. I done went to a lot of nigga shit and done said a lot of crazy shit. Before I made that last time that I checked, I made that in that nigga shit. That nigga told me, boy, you dropped this. You want to stand on this shit? I said, nigga, I stand on everything I do. I said, okay. Dropped it. You know, I say something about Deucey naming it, but Deucey didn't contest it because he, it's like, bro, I'm not gonna speak on nothing that ain't true. So when bro them see how I stepped on it or how I stood on that shit when all the smoke came, bro, he it was locked in every since then. But that nigga really did say that. Before he put that, bro, is you gonna stand on this shit? Like, nigga, what? Like, nigga, I'm not gonna yeah. let you say all of this shit and is you, you know gonna stand? You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah, no, is you gonna stand on this? I'm like, yeah. And stood on every motherfucking word and been standing on shit since the day I was born. Man, that shit crazy. You say, um, you said Phoenix President? Phoenix President. That was my first mixtape I ever dropped. Just mm -hmm. ever. You know what I mean? So, how was that working on that project? Would it be your first project? Um, it was some bullshit in the game. <laughs> 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 it was some bullshit in the game. But, uh, that's my nigga, though. Free Thug, man. But it was some bullshit in the game. So, uh, it was a little pause in it. Damn, this motherfucking poop, bro. It was a little pause in it. Due to a nigga trying to play the big homie role, sugar and shit. And I'm not that nigga. You know, I pay for my own shit. I walk my own path. I don't need a nigga for that. Just, <clears throat> just connections or with doors. I feel like if, if you my nigga and you got a certain, a certain, you know what I'm saying, door that you can open for a nigga, but why wouldn't you want to do that if it's going to better everybody's situation? Nigga, if we was broke together, why the, why the fuck we can't get rich together? You know what I'm saying? Not to get into in depth in what was going on, but that's just a lot of, it's a lot of backdoor shit that goes on when your name do get to buzzing. Right. That first video we was talking about that shit was dope with Judge. That's not under my shit. That's under Bands TV. That was a problem to me. I'm fresh home. I've been trapped money day one. Made that clear. On, clear. Bro, I'm not nothing else but trap money. I don't give a fuck about no clicks, no hoods, no nothing against trap money. Flat out. So when niggas went to doing that, I wasn't feeling it. It put a pause on shit. You know, niggas got their feelings and shit, but I got back on my shit and I finished my shit like I was supposed to. And I dropped it and I I, I bumped my head. A couple tries came out fucked up. I bumped my head. You know I'm saying that's what you're supposed to do though. That's how I look at it. Yeah. I ain't delete shit. Listen to my fuck up. So y'all gonna hear where nigga came from. Y'all gonna hear this. Nigga, I really came up by myself. Nigga, no hand and no nothing. I fucked with real niggas and we was equal side by side. Ain't that nigga standing in front of me. Ain't that nigga standing behind me. Nigga, we in this shit together. We locked in. Mm -hmm. If anything, we back to back with it, nigga. If anything, you see what I don't see. Right. Bro, it'll never be no, never be, nigga, you in my shadow, I'm in your shadow. And that's what niggas fail to realize. They want to place a nigga. No, nigga, we not doing that. Nigga, what was you just said when I was at ABC? I didn't have a nigga doing this then. Don't do that now. But niggas wanna say I'm hard headed, I'm this. No. Nigga, I think logical. Don't fucking tell me when to drop my shit or how to do my shit, nigga. If you not telling me how to get the money off the shit, if you not producing no paperwork that's showing me the assets I'm finna get off this, my revenue, nigga, my gross. Nigga, don't talk to me about nigga some gang banging shit or what the fuck to say on no track. If you can't tell me what the fuck I'm finna gain off of it. Nigga, what the fuck? Don't tell me how I'm supposed to get here, nigga, if you ain't never been there. 
Like that, I, I'm a moving like that. Nigga, I really listen to my daddy. The fuck I'ma listen to you for? Nigga, you know the same shit my daddy know. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> fuck I'ma ask you for something for? Nigga, I can go ask my pops for that. That's just how I was, and I'm not gonna ask that nigga. Nigga, we was raised different. Nigga, fuck with me the long way. Nigga, you say you got these connections, who you are, my nigga, open it. Niggas don't wanna do that. If you're not doing shit they way, they wanna, uh -huh. Okay, then. I'll blunt my head. Cause then when I get to that door, my nigga, it's a, nigga, boy, it's a problem. Now you can't tell me shit. And yeah. look at me now. I got my own name. Now you can't yeah. tell me shit. Now I'm charging for shit. All that free shit. Yeah, nigga, I'm charging now. Yeah, you niggas made me bump my head. You niggas watch me do this shit. You niggas watch me get into unnecessary shit. So yeah, nigga, I need that. Now I'm somebody else. Now I changed up. Now I'm in town. I got kids to feed just like you, nigga. When your kids was fed, my nigga, but I was walking behind you, my nigga, trying to figure it out, it wasn't a problem. When I was fucked up, you loved me. But now we can both go throw something in the club, it's a problem. That's usually how it goes. So what's, what's, what's the next album? When, when, when's the next project I coming? Two, I got two EP. I, that's why I say two up on my head. Mixtapes ain't really, not really in no more. It's attention span. So I got like 11 on one mixtape now, like 13, maybe 15 on the next one. And people barely hearing some of them songs now. So it's like, damn, I got a whole tape. That let me know y'all listening to them first hot songs and just fucking with them mm -hmm. and not listening to the rest. So I got two EPs coming out, probably like six, seven songs a piece. I got some for the bitches called it Situation Trips. That's hard. And I got a Southern Stupid. Shout out my nigga Fino, Free Fino, he coming home. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of shit with him. Like, that's going up. Jay Mula, got some shit with Mula. Shout out Mula. Mula dope. Shout out Jay Mula. So when is it? When, when, when can we be looking for it? When this is, one. This one. When this is it one. coming out? The 21st. 21st. That's, that's when it's projected to come out. Nothing don't happen. The 21st, y'all will be getting an EP. Mula's gonna be the name of it. I don't know if I'm gonna drop situation ships yet or Southern Stupid. I don't know which way I wanna. I don't know if I wanna keep it turned up or if I'm gonna switch it. Cause everybody know me for that. Shoot them up, bang bang, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know me for that, but nigga. Get on my light skin shit one time. That's what that situation <laughs> shit is, you feel me? On my light skin shit, that ain't gonna lie. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's the real though. Niggas don't wanna talk about, I ain't too hard to tell you a nigga. I, a bitch not stepped on my heart when I was in prison. I ain't too hard to tell a nigga that. The fuck? That don't make me or break me. Like, that's what that situation shit, nigga, I don't fuck bitches. That's what I'm telling you. I don't, I got songs for my riders, like my bitch who I fuck with. I got songs for them faggot ass bitches and them bust downs and them situations. Every situation, nigga, that I really been through, you gonna have to feel it some type of way. Whether you a lovey dovey ass nigga or you really cutthroat on your piece shit, you gonna feel something on here. Cause I done been in every situation, my nigga. I done been in every situation. No, my heart bro. I'm so, fucking with it, bro. Um, it's Southern Stupid too, it's, it's, it's more turned up. I ain't gonna say, I ain't really necessarily dissing niggas, but it's turned. Yeah, it's got it's some energy in there. It's energy. Think of, uh, when you think of Southern Stupid, if, uh, this the only. EP or mixtape, I say I category, like I'll put it in the category or something. I got that feel of a, that old 2011, 2000, maybe even 2009 YG. That old just read up to the 400 degrees era of YG. It got that type of bounce like that. Really that, a lot of energy. That lot of energy, like, yeah, yeah like we're going to turn the party up. We either going like, to fuck it up or. <laughs> I like the way you approaching this music. Like, I'm, I'm really feeling it. And that's one of the things that, that I think separates your music from a lot of people is your approach to the music. You know what I mean? And, and how you thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I think you're gonna do some like stupid shit. And that's not just because, you know, we, we friends, family, whatever, but just because of your outlook. You know, it's a lot of people who I'm cool with, who I think is dope, but they don't think, or they don't look at it the right way. Yeah. You know, they don't see it right. And like just, I think this conversation was needed not only for me, but for a lot of people. I think a lot of people watching this interview right now is probably fucked up. Man, this fucked some people. Oh, so up. yeah, let me make it clear for y'all who it fucked up. Look, <laughs> for y'all who don't know, as y'all clearly see, y'all know, bro, it's no smoke with my section and the vistas at all. It's never been no smoke. Y'all petty for that. It's fam on both sides. It's a disagreement between me and one nigga. And if that one nigga don't want to handle nothing, and it's been dead for over a year now, leave it that. And I'm saying that to this nigga camera right here. It ain't no hoe in me. 
at all. It ain't no smoke with me and the beef. At all, nigga. It was smoke with me and one person. They need to, uh, nigga, clear that shit up. Now that y'all know that and y'all gonna see that, take it how y'all want to. But niggas heard it from the horse mouth, nigga. So now after this now, now everybody in here, anything that happened after this, y'all gonna know, okay, my nigga standing on shit and my nigga had to do what he had to do. That's what people fail to realize. I'm always responding. I was taught that. I don't that. think it's... I don't think it's that that hard to really, you know. You said earlier in the interview that bro hit you and said keep it on wax. You know, bet. Let's keep it on wax. Whatever we doing, we doing. You know, like I don't I don't think it's so hard, you know. I would give my money, but it's just do the shit and turn the fuck the city up. Man, if you and that nigga did a song together, that would just be crazy. We did. Not, that's, you don't know that's why the beef started? Like, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's, but bro. I'm not. I'm talking about some new shit. Like, some whole new energy. Maybe y'all should diss each other on track. Bro, I told the nigga, I said, it's either one or two ways. We're going to make it the, the Phoenix way. We're like, what? Well, nigga, okay, niggas is coming together to get on. Oh, we really going to turn it into some other shit, nigga. Well, we going to diss the fuck out of each other, nigga, and really take it there and get on. I told the nigga, I'm cool with you. Yeah, I'm, but I'm why cool y'all with you. just diss each other on one song? On the same song. Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> that is that's like some uh, uh T.I. and Little Chris, that stomp shit. Like when it was yeah, both like on the same go song. hard, like fuck it. Fuck Lay it on, keep it on the, keep it on the, keep it on the wax. Nah, bro, I don't want to do that. I don't want to just keep dissing. It's just that I ain't even talking about y'all dissing each other, but I'm just saying. Like if niggas made that like, clear, like let's make some money out of it. I'm just saying as far the way I'm looking at it is, I love both of y'all. You know what I'm saying? And I know both of y'all from two different sides. You know what I'm saying? So in the middle, I'm like, damn, like I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna put the hand on and cheer for you. And I wanna see him be successful too. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, fuck, like, and I'm not trying to be no peacemaker. I'm not sure, because I don't even know. I wasn't in the middle of it when it got like this, so I don't want to be in the middle of it when it get whatever. But I want it to be based on facts and based on reality. And I know that right now, this ain't based on nothing but just songs and ego, like you said in the beginning. So, however we can resolve this, or however we can get to it's the It's based on this, other niggas' opinions. That's what I'm saying. But, so however we can do this, or however we can get to it, I think we need to work on that, man, because y'all... You niggas, you know, on that light skin shit, y'all niggas might have something. Man, you know, you bro. niggas might have something on that light skin uh, bro, shit. Bro, Big Bro is the one who, t Big Bro that I seen, man, shout out my nigga Frenchie. Big Bro, man, a lot of niggas don't really understand. Bro be the one, he, he take a lot of backlash for me. That's why yeah. he be at shit like this. A lot of shit that I do, people blame him for. Yeah. But nigga, the reason why he still fuck with me is because I do shit on my own. He just my brother. He do what a brother's supposed to do. Yeah. Nigga, that's my brother. Right or wrong, nigga, that's my brother. Yeah, but he's crazy on his own, though. Yeah, but look. Even the kids, the, the Pop Warner kids be trying to tackle him. <laughs> <laughs> the kids be trying to hit this nigga with their helmets, man. But look, though, <laughs> like, to even get that song, to even get the beat, to even all of that shit, bro, Mitchie was like, yeah, bro, that's that's a good look. You and Jay Hood, he like, ooh. Even if you listen to the fucking, the, the line, he like, bro, both of you niggas gassing. Everybody here talking about how we gassing. Mm hmm Bro, but we get, when, when shit hits the fan and the smoke, it's always us. Nigga, we went over there to do a song with y'all, my nigga. We trying to make money. We, nigga, we not worried about the bullshit. <laughs> nigga, we, I'm comfortable in that, nigga, any aspect. Right. Nigga, wherever niggas want to take shit. So that's what I'm saying. If niggas not taking it nowhere, bro, let's get some money. That's what we own. So that only way is what you speaking on. As far as me and that nigga, because like I said, it ain't no real fucking phone. Only way that shit can happen is if he come as J Hood. Just come, come, come. No, you, you said it in your song. Bro. You, you niggas is damn near like best friends type shit. Like, you said it in your song. You don't even call a nigga Hood only. You only call him Hood when you clown it. You mainly calling a nigga his name. Jarvis. Bro, like when a nigga called my phone, bro, like. But like you said, like everybody know my pops. Like you not really from the south side. Nigga really, nigga the west side, east side, everybody know my pops. Yeah. Bro, from whether it was refereeing, coaching, whatever, niggas know my pops. No, that's later so, in his life. But no, what I'm Your saying pops though, is a real but, but, a real reptable. So what I'm saying is everybody I'm knowing JK, that. Man. My pops coached him and his kids and everybody, like just like he did everybody. So he calling me like, oh your pops is your pops. Like, it's one of you knowing all of this. Stop. Don't, don't call my phone and be one way, but then get around your homies and be the next way. But that's how bullshit gets started. If niggas was really who they said they is, nigga, 
When I said what I said in there, my nigga should have stopped it right there. Because if the tables was turned and you said something and nigga, I don't care if I was in your section or not. If you said something that I felt you disrespected me or nigga what I stand for, I'm going to speak on it right then and there. Because we're supposed to be homies. Right. Hey, my nigga, that shit hard, but I feel like, ah. Uh, me, I would have changed it. I wouldn't have changed my verse. But I would have switched some shit around just off of respect, my nigga. I'm over here and yo shit. I'm doing a feature on your shit. I didn't charge you just like you paid for your own studio session. Bro, this is off the love, off some South Side shit. Stop acting like niggas don't know what the fuck really went on. Niggas caught a lift over there. Niggas that had no guns. Let's speak real, nigga. If niggas was really trying to take it there, niggas could have took it there. Nigga, I said what I fucking said. We not, it's no guns in here. If niggas, we in y'all shit, locked in y'all shit. If it's an issue, what's happening? We not on that, but nigga, we can go there if you niggas who y'all say y'all is, bro. That, and that's not disrespecting nobody. That's speaking on, on man facts. If you felt disrespected as a man, speak on that. Nigga, we in y'all jurisdiction. You can't come to my house and disrespect me on my couch. Right. I'm not going to let you walk out the house and then tell, hey, freeze, bro. That nigga got me fucked up. No, nigga, you got me fucked up in my house. But, I, but niggas, don't, niggas don't look at shit like that. Niggas look at other shit. No, nigga, speak on the real, nigga. Speak on the real. That's why I'm sitting here, nigga, not no bitch or nothing, nigga. If bro wanted to, he got to do it this way. Yeah, because the ball is in my court. You know you fucked up. You know what I said is right. That's why when you took your disc down, I didn't take mine down. Because, nigga, them is facts, nigga. It was never no smoke. But I, before you disrespect me, my nigga, I'm going to speak on facts. Yeah. Flat out. That's crazy. You can't, you, you can't even dispute that. What can you say back to that? Like, it's, it's video proof of all that. Video proof of me at the live. It's video proof of me throwing up big C's, my nigga. In here with all you blood niggas. And it's all love. I'm giving it up for y'all hood. In the same song y'all said I disrespected y'all hood, I gave y'all hood a shout out. So I'm not understanding this shit. So then when I snap my nigga and the last time I checked him, now I'm disrespectful. I got beef for all of these niggas. And I'm going to stand on that. So if all these niggas want beef, I'm going to beef for all these niggas. But when I speak the real on these cameras and tell you why, my nigga, don't act like I'm lying. We beefing because niggas homeboys got mad. We not beefing because a nigga really felt some way. We beefing because somebody else outside the circle felt some type of way. Well, that nigga should have fucking said something. And it would have just eliminated all the... Or you could have even, when you see me in a club, or when you see me at your brother house, or when you seeing me, or when you texting me on Snapchat, you could have fucking said something. Don't wait till we get to dissing each other, my nigga, to say, oh... That I look like, nigga, it ain't no rules and warrants. I don't give a fuck what I did in that video that you niggas don't like. Or who the fuck is around me. Nigga, you disrespected me. You went to Hermosa Park, with Star Hood Park, and shot a video. I didn't come through and shoot that motherfucker up. Let's speak on real shit. Nigga, we play turkey bowls with you niggas and shit. You niggas always at that park. Niggas wanna be real? How the fuck is you disrespecting me? How is that a real diss? When you niggas is up there on the regular anyway. Easter's and shit. Thanksgiving turkey bowls and shit. Like, what the fuck is you niggas? Let's be real. Yeah. I don't feel disrespected. I'm laughing at you niggas. I'm going to eat you up, nigga, on this track. That's how I looked at it. Because I know niggas don't want to really go there. But if niggas want to go there, we could have went there. But I didn't have no gun. But I didn't have shit. Nigga, I'm fresh out. Caught a lick. Drunk as fuck. Wrote my verse in the studio. Caught a lift when I left. You niggas sat there and smoked with us and waited for a nigga lift to come. Make it make sense, big bro. <laughs> make it make sense, my nigga. Where the beef at? Ain't no beef. Thank you. So I'm glad we stand on this camera, niggas. Yeah, no. no I got beef with the niggas I got beef with. I'm tired of everybody putting me in everybody else shit. That's why I wanted to do this freeze TV, my nigga. We're going to speak on the real music, the positives. We speak on my background, but then we're going to speak on the facts, too. That, that, them <laughs> other, that them other stations I ain't get to speak them facts on. Let's speak them facts. I'm not speaking on no, oh, taking a nigga credibility. I'm not doing none of that. I'm speaking on shit that have my name in it. Facts. And that's, nigga, that's on my daddy last breath, boy. Facts. Like, you gotta respect it, though. Like, it ain't no, you don't even have to have an opinion of the truth. At all. You know, it just, it is what it is. Like, this is just what happened. This is what it is. And now, these people could feel this way about it. These people could feel this way about it. But, you know, if 
I'm just being myself. That's just crazy, man. I'm dope. Man. I'm glad. Like I said earlier, I am so glad that we had this interview, man. Because it's crazy. Because niggas play the victim. Niggas, niggas drop diss tracks and then hide behind shit. And I don't, you know, like, like I said earlier, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I got love for all parties involved. But when you only hearing one side of the story and Frenchie in my motherfucking inbox cussing me out, quit interviewing these goofy ass <laughs> niggas, man. I said, bro, I posted the other day. I said, when did being goofy become the norm? He said, when you start interviewing all these goofy ass niggas. But that's why he's he speaking it, on that. No, he but it's down. just, it's just like, damn, man, like. It's fucked up, man. Like, like I owe you an apology because sometimes you, you you can have an opinion of things without even just talking to the person. When it's nothing for me, you just know pull me. Up. You yeah, can, I could just know. pull up. I, like I said, I don't. And 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 I didn't want to have an opinion. That's why I never pulled up. That's why I never called you. That's why I never nothing. I just left it at. I talked to you when it first happened. Yeah. Remember, Charlie was on the Facetime, so I didn't. I never needed no other. Nothing. You but, said it though. You said we'll, we'll link eventually. We're yeah. gonna link. But what I'm saying is, now that we've had this interview, I'm like, I'm told, bro. Like, I'm told. Like, I want to bring you back. Like, I know now niggas is gonna be saying shit. The comments is probably going crazy right now. Motherfuckers is gonna be in my inbox wanting to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? They gonna be. There's a couple niggas that might want to have a response. You know, so if, if, if they want to say something back, I really, you know. Let them accept what they want to say. I'm not, nigga, I'm standing on everything. It's facts, bro. Yeah, no. I'm it's, telling you this, it's but, facts. But that's what's, so, that's what's so genuine about it. Like, it's not even coming from a pace of malice. Like, we're not sitting here having a bash session. We're not like, fuck this nigga. Fuck these niggas. All oh, these niggas. Desert Baby is my nigga. Um, motherfucking J Hood is from my hood. Motherfucking, like, these, it's all love. You, like, I'm not... I'm not. I'm not even looking at. If it, it was really like that, we wouldn't be here. Like yeah, that. it wouldn't even go down. I, I couldn't do it, and I know you couldn't do it. But what I'm talking about is the facts. That's just dope. Like that's just dope. And, and, and right. it, fu- it, it, it fucks it up. See me. I like to put my niggas in a position to where if my niggas got a ride, they know it's a choice they want to make. I'm not gonna force a nigga to ride up some dumb shit. That's why when I get into it with shit, when people see like, oh damn, AK got niggas that's going because nigga, I'm not. Riding on a goofy shit. Mm-hmm. Everything we ride on, nigga, is right. It's what you do. It's what you done forced this hand. Nigga, I'm fr- I'm out of prison. You think I want to go back? So, nigga, for me to get out that character, my nigga, you really, really asking for this. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it makes shit hard when certain niggas like Desert Baby speak on niggas' hood without knowing niggas' backgrounds. And then when you check a nigga background, whether whatever the fuck you see on this camera, boy, you know who I am. Mm-hmm. When you check a nigga background, and you see like, damn. But now you stuck in that situation to where you gotta still say fuck AK or whatever it is because you done said that. You done already but now like niggas like Rick Tay, prime example, it, it makes shit like, it, it fucks that up. It's like when Frenchie was telling me about their whole little movement. That was the only little nigga I liked other shit. I was like, oh, I'll do a song with that nigga. But now it's like, he part of Desert Baby gang. And even though that's his name, I'm saying fuck Desert Baby, fuck Desert Baby gang. So I, I respect why Rick Tay probably gonna say fuck AK. You supposed to push like that. I fought you for that. But see that dumbass shit like that, your homeboy, it fucks up money we could be getting. You singing, I'm rapping, we killing the game. If he niggas wanna be too. facts, you he really wanna speak facts, I'm a real nigga. Yeah. Well, let's kill the game. Me and Rick Tate do a song, my nigga, the bitch is gonna love us. I guarantee you. <laughs> yeah. But that shit can't happen because I wanna slap his homeboy. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, nigga, and I told Dutta, and Dutta, I called Dutta. I called Dutta right now, and I put the nigga on speakerphone. I called the nigga, hey, bro. Before the shit get out of hand, tell your mans that you cool with, bro, pipe down. You keep speaking on my name on shit, and all this shit, nigga, testing my image, nigga, and my credibility. You know me, daughter. I'm a snap. But tell that nigga, chill out, woo, woo. Unless he really want to catch a fade or something like chill. The nigga was supposed to chill, he went to speak it on my name again, did that dumbass interview, act like... So now, nigga, you basically letting me know what it is. You know what I mean? So, like, nigga, fuck you. He's a weirdo. Don't want no real smoke, but you on camera acting like that. You in a booth? I, I hate niggas like that. Yeah. You want the police to get involved? Man, that's how I look at it. We going and dissing each other on these tracks, nigga. Police listening. That's why I don't want to rap beef. I don't want to do that. Cause I'm gonna take it there. Yeah. Like it's actions and consequences behind them words. And I, that's what niggas out here better realize. They think shit's sweet. 
Oh, you can just AK and just go do a fucking show. No, you can't. That nigga said on his interview, I almost forgot too. You said on your interview, my nigga, you dissed me and did a show. And you did a show the weekend my daddy died. Just clear that up. Nigga, I'm, boy, look, I ain't trying to beef with niggas, bro, but niggas is speaking on my name and it's, it, I ain't doing too many interviews like that to, to, to clap back. So it's like if I ain't making a diss, niggas ain't trying to hear shit. Or niggas look like if I'm dissing niggas, ain't no actions behind it. I'm just, I'm not who I am. That's why I don't want to do that. I don't want to keep dissing you when I'm not shooting at you. I'm dissing you, telling you what I'm going to do to you, my nigga. But then you go do something and we don't pop out and do that. It's like, nigga, you forcing this nigga hand. You've been in prison too. If you're not really willing to take it there, my nigga, leave me out of it. Because I'll take it there, my nigga. And that's why, that's why I, I don't be saying I'm a rapper. That's the main reason why I don't say I'm a rapper. So what are you? Bro, I'm just an artist. Just I'm just an artist. I can rap like a yeah. motherfucker. You I can make a good pictures. song. Paint pictures. When I feel it, that's why I come easy. When I'm feeling like fuck a nigga, I'm finna go paint that picture. If I feel like let's get some money, I'm gonna paint that picture. I'm an artist. So man, tell my people where they can find you at. Man, man you tell can them find me. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Man. For real, bro, man. Tell, I love it, man. Tell these people where they man. can find you, man. What's man. your Instagram? What's your yeah. Facebook? What's your <laughs> Your SoundCloud, <laughs> your, your goddamn iTunes. Tell them all that shit, man. Give me yeah. an email for the Y'all bitch that want to send you news. You know what I'm saying? Somebody want to send you some pictures. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Tell look. Them all Y'all that can shit. find me on Instagram at trapmoney underscore AK. Snapchat, Phoenix Prezi. With PHX, Prezi 2100. I can find me on Facebook, Trap Money AK. Trap Money AK on everything. Uh, SoundCloud, Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, all that shit. Trap Money everything. And if somebody want to give you a deal, who they need to contact? Uh, contact DJ Ah. You know what I'm saying? She she my manager for me. I just uh just put her on as my manager. I think that's yeah. a good move. Congratulations, hey, man. Yeah. yeah, she dope. She I worked hard. She, she got a good yeah. movement. I watch her show a lot. She been pushing my shit since work. day one. Was, you know that's my first. And like this, that's my first real interview I ever done in my life. Was with the Certified Savage. I'm the first one mm-hmm. to get interviewed on there. That show started with me. Dope. And I've been yeah. rocking with them ever since. So when niggas look at it like it's some shit, no, nah, nigga, I'm loyal, nigga. Yeah, Just like like a haircut. Me. You started off, you gave me my uh, you gave my hairline, nigga. I kept coming back. Like I'm not, I'm that nigga, bro. Like nigga, you feel me? So what I look like, but you pushing, you pushing for me when I'm not even your friend yet. So then we become friends. Then you become like my sister. So why why would I cut checks with niggas like that? Yeah. That's what makes me different. I'm not that nigga. I'm not gonna sit around and be broke with you and come up and be like. Oh, Nah, nigga, we was both together. Let's come up. You was pushing me when nobody else wanted to hear me. When last time my check came out, niggas was like, didn't know what side of the fence they wanted to be on. You let me be heard. You wanted to know why. When I dropped the new EP, you fucked with me. Videos and shit you play, I'm like, okay. Yeah, I'm finna, I'm finna hire. Let's cut the check. They stand behind the movement real, 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 real hard, real yeah. hard. Like, it's a lot of respect. And then they have a, a good platform that's not just some old bullshit. Like, it's a really dope platform. It's a good show, um, and and it's reputable. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not goofy. Her and the other, um, her KJ. and the other, yeah, they they, Shout out KJ too. they got a good balance. They do their research. They play good music. It's a, it's a dope show. Like I watch their show, bro. Like they I fuck share with it. everybody. It's a fuck you up too, freeze. Look, sitting on camera too, and she'll tell you too. They was putting her in the category like she can fuck with Desert Baby or whatever, whatever their situation was, because of because what I got going on. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I told I I said look. Yeah, you my manager when I need you to be my manager, but you was a DJ first. So don't let my shit come in between that. Interview Desert Baby, play his music, whatever, because that's what you that's what your job title is. That's what you're supposed to do. You focus on the music, not the background shit. Then when you're my manager, then we focus on other shit. So nigga, the reason why they all commu- yeah, nigga. If it was like I'm bro, I'm I'm logical. Don't nigga, I'm a real nigga. I I'll never be like, hey, Frieza don't like this nigga, so I need you. No, nigga. I handle my shit my own way. DJ I, you're DJ I to them. Mm-hmm. Play that man music. Interview that man if you want to be interviewed. He don't interview screaming DJ I. I'm calling on phone like yeah. And I don't know. And I don't know where on my kid. I don't know where shit. But handle your that's business. Yeah. You can't mix my shit with what you got going on. I know where you stand with me. I I know where my niggas stand with me. I never got to question that. Cause I put myself in that situation, that position, to where I never have to question that. I don't put my faith in the next man or the next female. Never, never do I do that. 
If some fall, I don't look for niggas to catch me. That's why niggas is weird. Like, <laughs> yeah. Niggas gonna speak on me. Nigga, I'm giving you niggas y'all ain't even here. Like, Said if I fall, I'm not looking for niggas to catch me. You feel what me? You talking about? <laughs> Shit, Shit, I sure hope a couple niggas catch me. <laughs> Shout out my little homies, my little niggas, the poor rich niggas. They've been catching me lately, dog. I've been flipping and flipping niggas, bitch. Oh, get up like the goddamn squid games. These niggas holding me like this. Oh, I'm like, oh, these little niggas got me, baby. Let's go. But yeah, man, real shit, man. AK, thanks for coming, bro. Yeah, man. Love. It's all love. I want you to come back, man. Um, I want to talk so much more, man. Like, I, I don't even think we got on the music enough. And, and if you notice on my show, I really... I, I talk about the music, but I mainly try to get into the person. person. You know what I'm saying? Because I think a lot of these people just need to know how dope you are. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody that I, I I try to bring into my into my compound is just like people who I think people over there need to know about. You know what I'm saying? Like because I, I wanna I want I want Phoenix the desert. I want us to have representation that that's 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 um that not only look like us, but it's reputable. Yeah. You know, like, I'm I'm sick of niggas hitting me like, hey, do this nigga, who is this nigga? And I'm like, bro, man, I don't know. I don't, yeah. we don't fuck with them niggas. Like, we don't, and this nigga's calling me like to, to check pedigree for deals and different shit. And I'm like, man, I don't know who the fuck these niggas is, man. Like, I don't even know. So anything that I can do to help the people who I think deserve it. If, if all I do is get you 20 more likes, then, you know, hey, I got you 20 likes. You feel me? At least I can help push you that way. You know No, this saying? type of shit is what I like. This is what I love. That's all I need. This is all I need. Bro, you my brother. Fuck the cameras. You know, it's behind the scenes, yeah. bro. You my brother. Yeah. Been that way since I was a kid. So, this is what I need niggas for. This, that love I be looking for niggas for. That's why you, it's, it's, I never really have, you can't, we can't have fallouts. It's not feelings like that, cause nigga, I don't expect too much from the next nigga. This right here is all I expected from free. This is your platform. This is what you know for, bro. You started this shit out here. So this is what I wanted to be a part of. So when I leave and when my kids, yeah, this is the yo, yo, yo fan base, the people you touch, the people that's looking at you. This is what I need. That extra door. That's the doors I was talking about. Mm -hmm. That most niggas don't want to close. Just because I had a disagreement with something that we spoke on. Now I can't fuck with Freeze now, but you like a fucking uncle to me. I met you through my uncles. You know my daddy and them, like, like, yeah. like you know what I'm saying. My auntie and them, like you above, you above generations in me. It's way more respect when I look at you than a lot of the little niggas. So by you not letting, like, nigga, that's I know Aaron, like I know little AK, I know yeah. little Colette. Like that's how you still looking at shit. Them the doors I still won't open. Them the doors I was talking about that most niggas are shut. Oh, he doing this or he got that or. So you're not gonna fuck with me because of that boy nigga. We've been locked in since. So that that's gonna change shit. That's what I don't like. So yeah, I respect no, ain't this. Gonna change. You feel me? I respect like, this. Yeah. By you still giving me this opportunity to come on your show. Whether we be speaking nigga about nothing or about what we spoke on. I'm just glad to be here, nigga. This that door that's open. I'm a Phoenix artist first. Like, you know, I'm a man first, but you know what I'm saying? I'm an artist on this this camera. This is Trap Money AK being interviewed. Not nobody else. This is Trap Money AK being interviewed. That's what we're here for. The music, I'm buzzing. You can't deny that. I got a buzz. I got my own clock. Before I diss any nigga, I was a 10K made nigga off the pavement. Let's make that clear. I hate when niggas say I'm clout chasing. Never clout chase. Have my own clout. Got out with my own trap money on my beanies and my hoodies. Had niggas behind me with the same shit on. Females behind me with the same shit on. Y'all know what we on. I had 12K in one week. So what clout was I chasing? So I'm glad to be on this platform speaking on that. I'm a real nigga and I'm humble, but once it's there, it's there. Niggas can't fault me Say for that. when it's up, it's up. Niggas can't fault me <laughs> for that, bro. When it's up, then it's stuck. Yeah. When, it's, when it's up there, it's stuck up there. Real what? niggas always gonna win. That's why I'm here. Man, Shout out to Freeze TV, man. Man, hashtag GP, man. You know man. what it is, man. Hey, we stay GP around this man. motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but um, on some real shit, y'all know what it is, man. Um. I want to thank Lil Bro for coming out and being so goddamn candid, so honest, so open, so transparent. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what we need. So, um, y'all y'all know how I do this shit at the end. Every time I be like, like the Goofies. Hey, guys, like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? All that old Goofy shit. But check my hat out, though. I done, I done, I done hit y'all with the horse. I bust the cash cow. 
Now I come with the scorpion, and I got some more shit for y'all, too. Shout out my nigga Frenchie for putting this interview together, man. I've been really trying to do this, man. And um, shout out Ty Ty out there in Kentucky, balling on these niggas, man. Killing it. Hey, Killing hey, it. hey, hey, one hundred. We even, hold on, though. We can't end the interview right there like that. <laughs> that record you got, hey, hey this Ty Ty record. And all this shit that's going on, man, like, it's up, man. Oh, I got something new, bro. Hey, it's fucking up. Frenchie, I'm gonna tell him, fuck it's it, bro. Up, hey, look, Tata, you know, nigga, since I got out of prison and seen you was older and you was balling, I've been team Tata. You've been my favorite player. Bro, I got something so cold, bro. I got this big blue anthem I'm finna drop, bro. I'm, I'm naming this player, this coach. It's, it's crazy. I'm giving up yeah. Kentucky something crazy, man. I love to see a Phoenix nigga who come from. I know that nigga daddy, man. No, 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 Ty Ty like, finna. Like, Ty Ty. No, he going crazy, bro. bro. Oh, but this nigga's going crazy. Ty Ty bro. one oh. and done. We calling it here, man. <laughs> Ty Ty <laughs> one and done, man. If he stay, he just gonna be because the nigga just signed with Caviar. Stop playing. The nigga just signed with Caviar. You know, hey, you eat Caviar. And of course, stop playing. Fuck out of here. Playing. Hey, Ty Ty is about to be the first person from the soil, like really from the turf. To get make some, a real stamp, though. To get some real money, you feel me? Like, really? A real stamp. Nigga, you gonna see this nigga Frenchy ride now baseline in the bench. What? This With nigga the top off. Now baseline With the in the top bench. off. Hey, 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 you, you know it's the illest shit, and then we gonna leave on this, my nigga. We gonna leave on this. My nigga T-Wash keep the cleanest motherfucking Air Force Ones on. <laughs> I said, man, this nigga got on brand new Coke Whites every day, man. This nigga. Motherfucking spotless. He not playing, man. Hey, congratulations on all that, man. And, yeah. and, and congratulations to you with all the success. That Appreciate that man. record is dope. I know that shit is probably getting hella spins. Man, keep grinding, man. Keep pushing the line. I'm gonna be on your line to get you back in here. Because oh, yeah. I know these niggas gonna be trying to holler and they're gonna be like, oh, yeah, whatever. You know? So. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with your boy, man. Y'all know what it is. Freeze TV on YouTube and all that shit, man. Instagram, everything. And I'm out, man. Peace, man.